the worst thing when you get up, you're trying to like pre-game for a match and you're figuring out, oh, they can pick into this, they like this, you yeah. know they can do this. Maybe the last option you're going to figure. Ori, sure, why not? I mean, plenty of kill power, really quick, yeah. so it's going to be difficult for Rano to use a lot of... It is uh, the same kind tools. of uh, idea as what I was thinking with the Maple. Again, great frame data, be able right, to like right. put fast buttons in uh, Rano's face. Don't let him get the needle zoning going. So, and also the dash attack is like a really good ranged option here. Forgot to turn Rumble off. No Rumble, please. Yeah. Take the game. Nah, we're not like that here. All right, Swampy Estuary, game one. A lot of platforms for both these characters to take advantage of the great movement on. Oh yeah, there's a lot of opportunity for some crazy combos, but an equal opportunity for some plat camping. These kind of characters can try to take that distance to advantage of mm -hmm. them. Oh god, yeah, they are just throwing buttons in each other's faces already. I mean, that early damage is really important because once one of them is off stage, like they're already seeing Prime to deal with it's like... Oh yeah. Sign assisted forward smash, not gonna do it yet. Let's see how he uses his bubble, yeah, good. Really good area stall there. Yeah, that's one of the cooler changes to Rano that has been made semi-recently at least with the being able to control the bubble in the air like that. Right. Okay, big juggle here. And the upper just comes in, okay. Ooh, all right. Wow. That was a really risky back here. Yeah, bold stuff here from PK Anti, but gotta say that's that's the kind of play you gotta expect from him. Oh yeah, especially this deep in bracket. Yep. You gotta pull out all the stops if you're looking just to stay alive. Mm -hmm. I didn't see what he does with his, uh, these light grenades. Yeah, here comes the movement and the, the ledge trapping. Okay. All right. I, I'm loving the layers, though. You got to yep. commit to all of this when you're fighting against Rano. And that basically kept that board strong safe. Yeah, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Up the all that priority. He's getting back. Look at this. PK has not had a really good opportunity. Oh, that's it. Yeah. To really yeah, I mean, that's... Time. He's just holding prime everywhere. Yeah. I wonder if Prime was like super ready for Maple or something too. That would be so frustrating for this uh, like this kind of start to a match. Plus, this is oh, look at all the bash, yeah. Wow. Oh, you hate to see that, but that was a really strong game one from mm -hmm. uh, PK Anti. And he is the kind of guy. I'm not expecting it after that game, but to he switch. is the kind of guy who will switch after winning. And he will switch to Shovel Knight. It looks like. Is, is that real? I thought he just. Oh my God. What is this that? This dude. What is that? Did you just hold up a marble? Hello? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. He's got a Silvano's pin on. So I bet that's the one character we're not going to see. Come on! <laughs> I never get to see Silvano's. And Brian man. is switching to the Edelis. Hey, all right. So all the things we didn't expect. Yeah, I know. I Solo mean, I makes a return. Yeah, I think a Prime is a Solo Rano, but... Yeah, we'll see how this goes. If you're, pl if you're playing a win, Edelis is always safe I mean, in the I, pocket. I got to kind of wonder, though, like... Is this PK Anti winning the mental game already? Looking solid to start, though. Yeah, Capital's Kappa, always really strong when you have Vandalus being able to just ice everything. Yeah. And Shovel Knight doesn't really have the speed to take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Like, you just gotta have to deal with the fact that Aeolus is gonna have really good movement the whole match. Yeah, it's such a good stage for this. So, smart pick from Prime. But we'll see if he can keep executing. And again, with Shovel Knight, you never know what kind of loadout they're going to go for. So let's see what PK Anti want. Oh, man. Oh, it's going to be like that? <laughs> We're going to have to deal with a Shovel Knight like that, aren't Yo! we? We're going to deal with this? And the B-reverse up B. Beautiful stuff. That anchor easily taking the sock there. So uh, much for a lead. Yeah, no. The Prime's got his work cut out for him if yeah. he's trying to fight his way into the top eight tonight. And this isn't even for top eight. Yeah, this is just for the privilege of fighting Cake Assault later. Yeah, right? There's the Dacus, though. Is he? There's not a whole lot of Edelus rep in this bracket. Yeah, not at this stage. I was very surprised when we were going over who's made it this yeah. deep. And even Bagel was playing Zetter in the top 24, so. I don't know, man. I just... Frostbite was the last tournament I expected for there to be yeah, a lack right? of Edelus. Yeah, big body. I get it. Like, it's, it's kind of <laughs> rough. The, the, the more advanced the meta gets, I feel like, just the harder it is to play these big body characters. But, okay, good DI, apparently. Now, what I'm curious to see is, like, what Shovel Knight bring into the table for this? Because with Ori in, the, in game one, we saw really heavy, very unique edge guarding. And here, even though he is able to rob these stocks yeah. from the ledge, I'm well, not really seeing you have too much stage presence here. It's just sort of trying to swing whenever Prime misses an opportunity to kill. Honestly, I feel like that's kind of PK Anti's thing, though. He's so good at edge guarding with everybody. Going up again? Yeah, okay. 
PK Anti with the lead here, and he's got the gear. Okay. Hold down the neutral, my child. You know, given how like yeah, crafty we've seen him at the ledge. Oh, he threw the gear and set up. He, eh, rough. That's unfortunate. The gear I can see coming in handy for some really He might have been game. trying to land on it. L like landing on the gear yeah. to further mix up his recovery. This yeah, guy's goofy man. stuff. I'm so here for it. But, no, nah, it was probably just misinput. I'm just trying to make him look smart. Yeah, listen, he's looking pretty <laughs> smart as it is. Right now, we just got to see if he can look human. Yeah, right. Prime is playing out of his mind just to take this set back into some sort of like, neutral momentum. Yep, keeping himself safe with the gear. Big juggle. Oh, and that's an Edelus problem right yeah. there. That was so unfortunate. And looking for the same edge guard we saw on the right side for uh, stock one. Mm -hmm. And that's a parry, yeah. Uh, textbook anti Edelus strats here. Oh, he expected a high recovery. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Not this time. Okay, yeah, damage. Yeah, barely got that. I was a little scared. Oh, and that's so brave. The tech in place against Edelus off the up air. That's how you die. What is gonna. Mm -hmm. Okay, double fair, yeah. He's so brave trying to hover right around this area where Edelus can just grab him. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's gotta be only one more hit on that. That armor, but. And no ice right now. This is rough. You know, this is the worst possible position Prime could have found himself in. Yeah. Yeah, he's so scared. Correctly. What? What? That was a great job resisting <laughs> the temptation to Icicle. So good. But this is such a tough recovery now. And oh, PK he's Anti back. lets him back. <laughs> Decided he wasn't done with the bear. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like PK Anti made a mistake by not just sitting on the ledge there. But there's a forward air. Armored up. All right. What's the move here? And there's the forward strong. Beautiful Dude, movement there. That was so yeah. good. Sick and that was between ice and regular floor, too. Right. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. really careful with that one. They're just going to be switching on each other the whole time. This is this is weird, man. Zetter clearing. All right. Fire Nation attacks. All right. But where were you attacking? Yeah. And DSR on uh, Swampy Estuary. Yep. Man, logic's out the window. Whatever. Yeah, no. Whatever. This point, we're, we're just riding by on the hype of this set. This is not how I expected this to go. No Prime's Edelus was that good. It's nasty. It's kind of nice. That was such a good movement bait there at the end. And you know, he had to keep his movement really clever that entire yeah. time too because he spent a majority of that either trying to microspace some sort of normal or return to the stage. Yeah. And like I said, man, the last couple of recoveries, the resisting the temptation of Icicle, he would have gotten parry. Like, it would have been parry, it would have been death. Free. But instead, game three, 1-1. One, one. All right. Yeah, PK Anti on the green Claren here. Basic Zetterburn here from Prime. All right, well, sometimes simple but effective is what's needed. I wonder who Prime played before Rano. I feel like there was a lot of uh, transition from Zetter to Rano. So I wouldn't be surprised if he had one kind of unlocked from before. I feel like Zetterburn is one of those characters that, like, if you understand rivals, Bundy's, you absolutely. understand Zetterburn. Because even in the grand scheme of gimmicks that oh. you find in Rivals of Aether, Zetter doesn't really bring that much. He's got damage over time, and that's kind of nice. No, the big thing you got to watch out for is what we saw there on the ledge. Is like he just doesn't have much landing like. You got to be super careful trying to punish those landings. But PK anti on the board first. Oh, Grab combo. Oh. Yo. Scoops. He's got okay. some vile tools. Oh, Tipper. no. Should be easy. Rinse, repeat. Oh. Okay, tech. No. No, no tech. Ooh. We're just going to bounce right on down to the depths. I think the tipper, even though it gave him more time, actually made it a little bit tougher to know the rhythm. Because, like, most Rivals players at this level are super used to teching the hit on the wall like that. And I wonder if he just did it too early. Maybe didn't expect the tipper. You know? Dominant right now. I don't know if the Zetterberg pick was all that. Yeah. Prime might be feeling like his tag right about now. Well, time's coming up on him, right? <laughs> oh, hey, yes! It okay, okay, okay. It's time! And there's the Rano. Mm -hmm. It's coming back. Is it going to be enough? <laughs> oh, George. Edel is not letting <laughs> him have any fun at all. <laughs> he got three good games with it. That's all he needed. All right, where are we going? What tag are we picking? <laughs> We're counterpicking oh, down to the finest detail. Switch to love. Oh, that would be so funny. New. Hashtag keep it PG. 
Okay, sure. Okay. Does he just use default controls? Kind of looks like it. I didn't see anything besides yeah. Rumble Off. I mean, that's not that crazy. Okay. They've taken away a lot of those, like, wide stage four stages. There's a lot of ground on Spirit Tree for Sylvanas to control with grass, so I'm really curious to see what, like, what's going on. But then we might there. see, we might just see back air chains taking them off the side. Tiny stage here, in terms of blast zones, at least. Yeah, there's a lot of oh. opportunity as well for Prime to just river stomp this Sylvanas. Yep. Great roll, though, and I think that's actually arguably Sylvanas' best tool. Sylvanas' roll is so long, it makes it really hard to punish. Yeah, like, look at that. He just has such an odd, like, sense of movement because yep. he has a long body. Definitely. Like, all the other characters, barring Edelus, are, like, so anthropomorphized that it's, it's kind of simple to understand how they're going to move. Yeah, totally. You see some uh, low profiles from this character as well. Ooh, interesting. Using the uh, using the flower there for movement. Ooh. Close. All right. Not out of the woods just mm -hmm. yet, though. Yeah. Covers so much space, and that down, and he, Strong gets covering almost Slot the entire. Machine DI, man. <laughs> almost the entire plat is controlled by that. Yeah. You have to be so careful. Okay. Yeah, patience here from Prime. I do think that's the way to play this. Down, yeah, down okay. smash. Easy. Yeah, and you got to keep the the grass control to a minimum here. Juggles. That's one way to do it. Yeah, yo, he can't be putting grass if he's not on the ground. Mm -hmm. That bite's gonna set up for an edge guard though. That might have killed on this stage. <laughs> There's a chance. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold strong. on. Not yet. But yeah, honestly, just keep the edge guards going. Another one. Oh, he was holding slightly in, I think. Yeah. That's fear tree for you. This is not looking good for Prime. No. And Sylvanas is one of those characters where, yeah, you can definitely, like, cheese him and kill him early. Oh, but he can also easily live to like 200 because if he's yeah if he's recovering low how are you gonna edge guard that good luck. Yep, good. There bait. we go. Mm -hmm. Great juke. Yeah, and then that that hitbox is out so early. I want to say it's like frame five or something on that upbeat. Really hard to challenge. <gasps> Ooh, nice use of that lower hitbox. I don't see that too much. Oh yeah, Fortune is very like tricky to aim like that. Totally. Okay. okay. Good trade there. Prime's going to live with that, but he's sitting at 102, man. And he, now it's not only, like, the hits that you know are going to kill, but your DI has to be pristine right now. He needs a perfect stock. Yeah. Okay, I like that. A little too high off that ledge, though. Great parry. He ended up punching the flower, yeah, but that, that might have been a really poor decision. Hit lag did not help there. Going up. That's and nowhere it. but. That's going to be a 3-1 for PK anti over Prime. That's with three characters. That's the one thing that I did expect. Three different, er, no, four different characters in four games. So. And you know